Yo yo, welcome everyone to a brand new video. Today it's time for Monaco and you can probably see it already in the title. This is gonna be an amazing race, if not my best race ever in league racing. And we, uh, we need that after what has happened again previous week where we got taken out with around five laps till the end um, so that was unfortunate now our banker lap is a point zero zero eight which is all right i was happy with that to have it as a banker then our second run we invalidated and now we're doing our third run and this is also gonna be our fastest lap around here First corner went pretty good, just about invalid. Now this left hand, I have to make sure to keep it tight and then swing it into the right hand there. Tapping the wall with your rear left tire. And then doing a point two eight in the first sector. And then the slowest part of this section, the hairpin. Taking a third gear. And then use this curve to rotate the car. And short shift up to four for traction going into the tunnel. And now the next you can, you can make or break your uh, lap. You need to send it. Because you will lose too much time if you don't. We take it nicely. And now it's only the last section. Only the third sector. Doing a point nine six split. Purple middle sector. Sending it through here. S slightly missed the apex there. Third gear for this corner to get a rotation. Fourth gear. Now the final corner. Going a bit too wide but... We're gonna cross the line and it's gonna be a um, 1 minute 8.74. Oh, I need that. And you can see how happy we were with that lap. But we got one more chance. And as I said, previous lap was our best lap we've done in this qualifying. So we're gonna look at it because we were on a pretty good lap. As the first corner went pretty well again. Uh, same left hand They're going a bit too wide and missing the rotation being a bit too cautious here and then it's a 0.34 in the first sector so you can already see losing s six hundreds with those tiny mistakes uh, that part was all right and now in the chicane there was some time so I wanted to send it and try to still improve but no. we got too much not even close of you being valid man <laughs> fuck hell what are you yeah. thinking <laughs> you can see we were not even close of having a valid lap there so it was uh, unfortunate but uh, it is what it is I think that's it no way it's actually <laughs> yeah I actually got ball yeah <laughs> for once when it actually matters. <laughs> finally. <laughs> fucking <laughs> finally Paul mate. Boom! <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, we actually uh, got Paul in Monaco. Yeah. Which is probably the most important track to have a good qualifying in. And we actually did. So uh Really happy oh, to be starting on pole around yeah, here. Uh, I think everyone, as in the formula, as in the real Formula One, you want to win a race around Monaco. So uh, let's head into the race. Here we are then, and now we're gonna decide what strategy we're gonna be doing. Uh, I can confirm we've already done the 13 laps or 15. Mm. Um, but the lobby was glitched, so we restarted. Then yep. I started on hards, Agreed. now I decided Agreed. to start on mediums. So the lights are going to be on. Behind us is Valentin on the hards, there are five red lights. And away we go, and as you can see in the top left, Joseph Lowe got a drive through. And Joseph he's getting Carthen? past Valentin, yep. so he's right behind us now. But he won't be a threat no, for us really as he has to serve the penalty. And as Valentin is on hearts, my mind straight away went into full send mode as we need a 
big enough of a gap to Valentin so he won't have DRS. Um, DRS isn't even that strong as the straight is almost 200 meters I guess. <laughs> it's really short. Um, but still I wanted to have the Confus to break away from the rest of the field and hoping that Valentin would hold up uh, everyone behind. So as you can see Valentin already 1.3 seconds behind. And it's also getting into the rhythm. Like I said, previous uh, small race I can say, uh, I started on hard. So with a bit more grip, your turning in point is a bit later, braking point is a bit later. Uh, you can be a bit more aggressive on the power. So it's getting into the rhythm again. And now the gap is 1.5 seconds already in the first lap and then in lap 8 we already managed to have a gap of 5 seconds and this is actually perfect as everyone on the same strategy as me is more than 5.5 seconds away from me and you can see on the minimap on the bottom left that there's already quite a lot of cars who have crashed or have done a really aggressive strategy by pitting extremely early and then in lap 9 uh, we got a massive snap of oversteer there <laughs> luckily managed to keep it out of the wall because that would be uh, fortunate if we crashed out uh, being so far ahead then in lap 13 the gap is 5.6 seconds and the gap to the other medium runners is 7.6 seconds so we've actually gained time to them uh, which is perfect for us as Jenna Kings is going into the pits and so does Max Wiesel. <sighs> and then I think only Ismael Fassi um, is a threat for us now as he's on the same strategy and I don't want to pit earlier than him. So then in lap 15 in the bottom left and in the top left you can see Isma has gone into the pits and you can see yep. that Valentin the gap is now 5 seconds so he has gained a bit back um, still confident Oops, enough and now in lap 15 my engineer told me Vier are ties by the way best engineer th there is but he told me uh, use IRS and push to uh, box this lap uh, there were some cars who might want to do a cheeky strategy with holding people up. So uh, we just had to go into the pits. Enige zorg is Kane Luck, maar voor de rest moet we goed komen. So, as you can see in the top left, the cars are now through swimming pool section. And Keaton Lutt is just about ahead of us. And Valentin is still ahead of us, so we are still we are still P3 at this point. Valentin can't go back there, but I think it's not a good thing to do. So we pitted in lap 15, and we have cold hearts, as you can see. Just needed to warm up the rear tires a bit, and then lap 18, the gap is already 1.5 seconds, so we're gaining a lot. And you can also see in the top left that Daniel and Matthew are still out and they're on old hearts. So they can hold up the rest of the field behind us. But now we are right behind uh, Keaton Lutt and this is actually where I was not hoping for. Uh, a car ahead of you who can hold you up and this also shows how hard it is to overtake around here. As I was doing 1 minute 12.2s, 1 minute 12.1s on my own. And now I'm losing around 1 or 1.5 one seconds driving behind him. But it's almost impossible to overtake around here. This corner could be an o overtaking spot if you're very close. Same goes for the hairpin. But I didn't want to risk any damage as we still have quite a big gap to the cars behind us. Now around 10 seconds. Keaton is flashing. But yeah, no pressure. 
it's still very hard to make a move around there as you can see the, the gap is around 5 tenths to him and it's really hard to get any closer as you can't see the walls uh, the curves and the apexes clearly so uh, we have to hope he's gonna box and as I said like he is so that was actually well perfect not even precious, be consistent. But now, still Valentin is ahead of us, and if there's a safety car, on, Daniel, stay out he the will uh, have track position. So lap 22, he is still driving ahead of us, but now goes into the pits. So, yep. in lap 22, with 16 got laps to go, seconds. Yeah. we take the lead again and now Daniel yeah, is still stay, out on old stay. hearts so the gap yeah. is getting bigger and bigger with quite a lot and now Daniel is in uh, with Jana Kinshin 15 seconds behind us in lap 25 and Vanatin is in P4 medium so maybe he can cause some carnage with trying to make a move but uh, Jen had to gain around a second a lap to catch okay, me right and the gap actually became bigger and bigger so now 16.6 .6 seconds to the cars behind as there is a ghosted car ahead of us I, wa I still don't know if it was an AI or someone who was just having fun with old hearts but I think it was an AI if I look how he drives and how slow he went so um Luckily no uh, issues with that and now another two cars out of us these were actually racing and the first one McLaren is Cartelundi he's letting us pass uh, very nicely even though he's ghosted um, in the apex. <laughs> as it should and now uh, gap to Chanakinchi 17 seconds so we are still extending the gap three to really him and again. That actually shows uh, <laughs> for me that my pace was actually good here. And then in lap 37, the gap is 19 seconds. So <laughs> I had a goal for myself, trying to get the gap to 20 seconds. And lap 38, the gap is 19.6. So e some people might have been thinking, I can drive slower, but I actually wanted to push for even uh, bigger of a gap but it's lap 39 it's the final lap of this race and with only one corner to go we're gonna take the win around Fucking Monaco go, <laughs> we did it <laughs> let's go oh yes oh let's go let's go <laughs> let's fucking go, let's go. oh <laughs> oh my god oh what a race what a race thanks thanks everyone <laughs> 60 fewer yeah it's crazy uh, wait, <laughs> oh what? this race mate perfect perfect uh. as that sound was pretty satisfying by the way oh um, good but <laughs> now a guy in my chat said uh, I had to <laughs> put this song on, which was actually perfect. So um, listen to it if you want. It's amazing. <laughs> you can also skip for like a minute and then uh, yeah, enjoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couch and blue. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> That's great.
so as it also is in the real F1 I had to play oh, that uh, actually perfect as you can see now um, we won the race from pole position with almost 20 seconds to the rest of the field um, yeah simply it, it all went perfect strategy was perfect the pace was perfect qualifying was perfect so um, thanks everyone for the support uh, it was amazing and we really needed this and now we are only 10 points behind the uh, championship leader so uh, we actually got back into the championship fight by winning this race and even though we got some unlucky uh, moments in the past few races I'm really happy uh, to see this so um, thanks everyone for watching thanks for the support and I hope you have a fantastic day. Ciao.